don't have much time, but we got enough time. Okay? So first thing I want to talk about, first thing I want to talk about is mindset. Okay? Mindset. Alright? Your mind. Now, how you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. This right now is the most important time in your life. And a lot of times, we don't get people to come and speak to us and give us the information that we need today. So it's very important that everybody in this room pays attention to what I got to say. This 10 minutes is going to be the most important 10 minutes that you might need in your life. How you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. Everybody in this room, y'all create your whole life with your thoughts. How you think is what you're thinking about every single day. Now, if you're not aware of the things that create your thoughts, it could be social media, it could be video games, it could be TV, it could be your parents, it could be what's going on at home, it could be who's teaching you, who's showing you about life, who's teaching you about life. It's not the teacher, you guys come from somewhere. So, listen my man, let's stay focused. If you didn't, listen, if you didn't want to be here, there's a door in the hallway, that I'm not gonna be here long, I only got 10 minutes. So for the people that do want to hear this information, stay. If you don't want to hear it, if you want to act like you want to play with your cups, just go in the hallway. It ain't gonna take long, right? It's very important for you guys to take your future serious because nobody's gonna take your future as serious as you, okay? Now, check it out, right? With your emotions, you gotta always have control over your emotions, okay? Always. Females are emotional. Men, we are intellectual. We gotta be rational. We gotta think with our mind, okay? Never let your emotions get the best of your mind, okay? So it may be something that may, you, you may feel, you may feel frustrated, you may be going through a situation. Before you react, you always gotta think. That's what young men do. Before you react, you always gotta think. Take five seconds. Let's say somebody bumps you. Let's say somebody te uh, steps on your sneaker. Let's say somebody's looking at you weird. Take five seconds. Don't even worry about the situation. Take five seconds and think to yourself, how can I just breathe? And then you would think, and then you gotta let that, um, that emotion pass. A lot of times with, you know, us, when I say us, I mean African-Americans, minorities, Latinos, whatever you wanna say, black people, right? We're not really taught how to be men. And these are the most important years of your lives. This is you develop how to be a man, how to control your emotions, how to use your intelligence and be intelligent in situations. Because it only takes 10, 20 seconds to throw your whole life away or lose your life, mm -hmm. right? So it's very important to understand that men, we don't move with our emotions, we move with our intelligence. How you think creates how you feel. How you feel becomes an emotion. That emotion becomes a vibration. That vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. Yo, bro, you gotta stay focused, okay? Everything happens for a reason. You gotta stay focused because you never know 20 years from now, what you hear in this conversation might help you. And you might miss it because you're, you're not focused. You're not gonna be here that much longer. So focus on what I'm saying, okay? I wanna tell you this to you, right? I became tremendously successful, but I've been to prison. I've been homeless. My mother was a drug addict. I never had my father. I never knew my father. I never knew school was important until I was out of school. I never knew school was important until I got to prison. I never knew, I never knew like what I did at this age was gonna affect me later on in life. That's why I'm telling you, never move with your emotions. Move with your intelligence, okay? And a lot of times, because we don't have fathers in the home, or if we do have a father in the home, that father doesn't know how to teach us how to be men, so we grow with female tendencies. And then the system, the police, they put handcuffs on us because we think with our emotions and not our intelligence. And we get into trouble, we get into fights, we shoot people, we get shot at, we, whatever we do, right? We get into trouble because we, we're not taught how to avoid trouble. This is your most important part of your life, bro. Everybody in this room, time goes by very fast. 
Before you know it, you're gonna be in high school. Before you know it, you're gonna be dropping out of high school or graduating from high school. Don't know what college you wanna to go to because nobody's preparing you. They're just saying, go to school, go to school. Yeah, listen man, school, you have to go to school to get a skill. So everybody in this room, you have to start getting interested about your future. School is a business. What they don't teach minorities, what they don't teach Latinos, what they don't teach blacks is, when you at this age, this is your future right now. And you're not being properly prepared for your future. So I made a list of things I want you guys to look into. And make sure, bro, make sure, look, we do that later, like this. But this is the message is more important. You can sign a paper, they're gonna throw the paper out. But I wanna make sure that if I miss something, you make sure I get it, right, bro? Um, we're talking about game development. Everybody plays video games, but nobody knows how to build video games. Yeah. Everybody plays uh, Roblox, GTA, Call of Duty, right? Making games, developing games is going to be here for the next 100, 200 years. So everybody in this room, ask yourself, maybe you can start learning how to build games. Start Googling, how can I develop my own game? How can I build, up my, how can I build my own app? Next thing is computer science, okay? Everything is digital. The future is digital. So in order to be properly prepared for the future, I need to understand how computers work. I need to understand how technology works. I need to understand, well, how does the camera work? Not just holding it and pressing record, right? What, what chips is, like what, what's inside if I break it and pull it apart? What are all these things I'm looking at, right? So understanding computer science. Right? Next thing, health and fitness. People are gonna work out. People are gonna work out. Do I wanna own a gym? Do I wanna train people? Right? I'm, I'm talking about ways that you can make money forever. And you gotta start at this age right now. It's important. Okay? Next thing is AI, yeah. artificial intelligence, augmented reality, right? That is where the future is. Okay? Next thing they don't talk about. The reason why our communities are so messed up is because we don't have no black contractors. Building buildings, this very building. You see this building, the floor? Somebody put this floor. Somebody painted. Somebody did the electricity. Somebody did the plumbing. Everybody in here used the bathroom today, I'm assuming, right? Somebody made them pipes work, okay? And if we learn how to do that, we'll never be out of a job. We'll never have a messed up community because we know how to build the communities that we actually live in, okay? That's important. I'm not saying by hand. By hand because they don't teach trades. Back in the day, they used to have trades. Actually, in these schools, they had trades, but they taught you how to do wood shop. They taught you how to do carpentry. They taught you how to do plumbing. They taught you how to do electricity. They don't give y'all nothing, and then when y'all get my age, or his age, or her age, they expect you to do everything, and you haven't been prepared to do nothing. Mm -hmm. So when people come in here to try to tell you about the future, you gotta lock in. You gotta lock in. Them cups and playing with the cups and playing and not being focused ain't gonna benefit you. You gotta lock in. Yes, I'm talking to you. you gotta focus. Cause you don't get every we don't get this information. Knowledge is power, but it's the type of knowledge. I had to go to prison. I've been shot at. I've been stabbed in the head. I almost died in jail by letting my emotions get the best of me. Kicked out of school. My mother not feeding me. So I had nobody to teach me. Then when I became a grown man, nobody taught me how to be a man. I had to learn from other men in prison on how to be a man. Then get out of jail and realize like, okay, how do I control my emotions? Now I'm arguing with females all the time. Men don't argue with women. We shut up, shake our head and keep it moving. I had to learn. So when you get this type of knowledge, you gotta take it serious and then apply it, okay? So next thing we talk about contractors, plumbing, how to build buildings and housing. The principal showed me a car that they had in that they was building, right? Transportation, I drove in here in a car. Can we build cars? How can we build cars? Mechanics, right? How can we build cars, right? How can we build cars? These are things that you need to learn now because if you learn it now, you're gonna always make money, okay? Next thing is medicine and healthcare. People gotta stay alive now, right? Healthcare, right? Building medication. Stitching, avoiding cancer, holistic health, healing, herbs. These are the type of jobs and things you guys gotta start thinking about right now. The last three is data science, 
data science, they help companies collect data. So when you go on your phone, right, and you, everybody here has a phone and you go on TikTok, whatever you do, it's called mirror echo, it's called mirror echo. So everything you watch, a company collects data on what you watch and then they sell it to other companies. So if you are a data science specialist, you understand how to help companies collect data. You'll always have a job, okay? Next thing is machine learning. Understanding AI, understanding artificial intelligence, okay? Understanding AR, which is the matrix, it's coming. It's called augmented reality. Apple got the vision, right? You see the, the you wanna see the machine, people gonna be walking outside with things on their head, it's coming. So we gotta be prepared for it, okay? We gotta be prepared for it. I'm talking about us, black people. We gotta be prepared for it. We gotta be focused. These is your best years. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Nothing is not that, nothing is that serious. Let it go, keep it moving. I promise you, never let your emotions get the, get the best of you. If you're in a situation, avoid it, walk away, it's not worth it. Because that's what men do. We control ourselves, we control our emotions, we control our temper, we control how we speak. I'm not gonna say, yo man, what you doing? I'm gonna say, hey man, you are bugging. And I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm not gonna be emotional. You understand? But we gotta be taught that, we gotta learn that. You understand? Um, last thing is renewable energy. Again, the principal showed me a car, you guys, it was kind of like the work and the race thing, right? How can we get the car to run on water? These are things you gotta get, start thinking about now, right? Transportation and renewable energy. How can, we, how can we replace electricity, right? You smart guy, you got a lot of answers. How can we uh, replace electricity? Using the sun, solar panels. So, solar energy. Right, okay, so we gotta think of different things. The sun can't be the only thing that gives energy, right? Sun can't be the, right, we can do water, we can, you can figure out air. We, we, you guys gotta start being creative, okay? Now, my next point is this. A child's learning curve. I'm gonna point to people, right? How old are you? 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 15? Listen, man. Listen, man. Hey, Mrs. Teacher? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss O. Miss O. Listen, Miss O. Yeah. You seem to be Latino. Yes. So you black. Mm -hmm. We gotta you listen. But we have to understand. There's old, and I wanna tell all the little young black boys in here watching me right now. You gotta be prepared for your future now. There's no secret that the government hasn't done the best job in terms of protecting us, right? There's no secret that schools don't properly prepare you for the future. Only when you turn 18, 19, to turn on you and say, well, you a, you, you, you a bum, you lazy, you et cetera, you et cetera, you this, you that. You're not being prepared for the future. This comes, everybody in this room is already a man in society, but I know you a child. But racism, to you, you, you a nigga. You a nigga. That shit, right? Like, you just leave a nigga, he gonna die. So, you know what I mean? Forget him, he's done, right? But you not a nigga. You not a nigga. No, seriously, guys, listen up. This is real, though. I'm telling you, it's real. Because a lot of times when you young, you don't know because you ain't get there yet. So you don't care. You ever see somebody mopping the hallway, y'all see a yellow sign? You ever see that, the wet floor sign? Yeah. You don't respect the wet floor sign until you fall. I'm your wet floor sign. But you haven't fell and hit your head on the floor or fell down the stairs and broke an arm yet. So you don't really, you like, I don't really know, man. Well, well, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> so you gotta, the smart people, they learn from somebody else's mistakes. I sat in a seat like this at your age, but I was in juvie, I was in Horizon. I was locked up, I was in jail, sitting there like, yeah, whatever, man, whatever, man, whatever, man, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Turn 25, I care, I care, I care. Too late. Y'all gotta care right now. And we gotta understand that, we gotta, we gotta go that extra mile. Whatever limitations the VOE puts on these kids, you gotta give extra work. Their minds can accept extra work. A child's learning curve is the shortest from zero to seven. From zero to seven. Right, in child psychology, where a child can learn anything, any advanced curriculum. But what happens is systematic racism doesn't give y'all black boys the education you need when you act the most sponge-like. We can push, we can push that learning curve because you matter. Yeah, you matter.
You got to know that, right? You got to know you matter. You got to know your future is important. Even if nobody prepares you, you can be prepared because you're getting a conversation right now. Right? And for the teachers that do care, the teachers that do care, y'all got to give extra work. There's no, there's no red tape on, okay, I got to follow this curriculum, but hey, I want you guys to look up augmented reality. Anybody want to do some extra work, right, I'm going to send it to you. So create a secondary, whatever curriculum you have in terms of homework, create extra in terms of skill development that's relevant for the future and give them options. Everybody in this room, you got to find what you're passionate about. Meditation has to be taught in school. Because, a, because they can't even focus long enough to get this information, and it's not their fault, right? But they, they're not taught meditation. They're not taught how to increase their attention span. So when you get in somebody right now who can, who can give you everything you need in terms of information, you might not even be focused long enough to get the information or smart enough to ask the questions that you need to ask because you might not get somebody else like me that you can ask they're going to talk to you for real. Got time for a couple of questions and then we gotta run. Okay. So who has a question for smart? Again. Hey, yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you, we gotta figure out something. We gotta like it gotta be something a little more consistent to work with the teachers. Because right. it, it like I'm, I'm gonna say this in front of y'all, because I, I I I love doing this, but I hate doing it because I know change has to come with consistency. Okay? And you gotta hold people accountable. So if people talk to you or whatever, it's the follow-ups that's important. Okay, it's the followers. So y'all can y'all gonna have my Instagram. Y'all can look at my Instagram. Y'all can message me. Y'all can contact me. You need constant motivation. You need constant reinforcement, right? Because you had a little issue, right? But we know, like, okay, look, let me control my emotions. You gotta be taught that. Let me learn not to argue. There's certain things that men just don't do. But if we not learn, if we not taught how to be men. We're not gonna do it. And it's always a time. Time is over, time is over, time is over. And these kids, are, we gotta, I'm somebody who can, I reach these kids, right? Mm -hmm. So we gotta take what I'm saying serious. You, you eat pizza and all that, that's cool. But if you got somebody like me around, you gotta go, bro, look, I need, I need more time with kids. I can't stress okay. Look, man, everybody in here, everybody in here, everybody in here, ask a question before I go. I want everybody in here to ask a question. And you can just start, how much we, we go this way or that way? All right. This side. All right, so look, my man, what's your question? Figure out more. How do you start? Say it again. No, I can hear you too. How do you start? Drop shipping? How do you start? How do you start drop shipping? Take your mask off, man. Yeah. Say it again. So how do you start drop shipping? How do you drop shipping? Okay, so what do you want to drop ship? I don't know what that's for. So, so drop shipping is basically somebody supplies you with a product that you don't have to pay for, right? So, are you do you, do you want to do clothes? Yeah. There's a website called Printify. Printify.com. Okay. Printify. P R I N. Spelling it out for you. Yeah. yeah. But see, they look. Check it out. P P R P R I uh, P R I T I F Y. Printify. Printify. And they do they, they do all your merch. So basically drop shipping, basically well, drop shipping, you just gotta figure out what kind of product you wanna have. And that's smart for you to get into that now because you go to a school where kids gotta wear a uniform, right? So if you make a cool hoodie that has the school logo on it or whatever, you might be able to get a contract with a school or your school that you're going to and start making money. So when you think about uh, drop shipping, think about what product you wanna sell. It's t-shirts or merch, you search um, companies that supply this product and you don't have to pay for it. That's the beautiful thing about dropshipping. You know what I'm saying? And if you're interested in merch, just send me a DM because I connect with someone who's already done that in school, so we're gonna get it for this school. Okay, cool. Why are you going to jail? Man, selling drugs. Selling drugs. And I didn't have anybody, I didn't have anybody to tell me, to warn me about things, so I had to learn as I went. Like I said, the wet floor sign, I didn't have no wet floor sign. I didn't have nobody to tell me, yo, don't do that, this is gonna happen. So I was in the system. My mother was getting my mother was getting high, my mother was doing drugs, my daddy wasn't there, I'm five years old, not eating every day, so I'm sneaking out the house trying to steal food from supermarkets, I'm trying to figure out how to get some money. And I you know, I didn't have Google or internet or somebody nice to talk to me about drop shipping, right? So I'm like, man, I, I'm gonna sell some crack, I'm gonna get some money. And then I went to prison, right? Then when I got to prison and 
I had to pay for the being emotional and being stupid and not thinking, then I realized how important it was to think. To think, right? Like I realized how important it was just to take a step back and think and not let my emotions make me take action before I think. Feel me? And now I'm making money instead of me selling drugs, I'm selling products, I'm selling services, I'm doing it legit. I had the right hustle, I just was selling the wrong thing. You understand? That's why it's so important to get these type of conversations. Because if I didn't have somebody tell me like, well oh, you want to get money, but you can do it the legal way. I'm just trying to get money. And it wasn't wrong, because I didn't know right from wrong. I just know, okay, this is working in the hood, I'm gonna do this. And somebody just said, yo, start a business, I'm gonna start a business. Feel me? Yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I do uh, boxing, motivational speaking. Uh, I sell products. I do, I do do drop shipping. We got enough basketball players. So my advice to you in terms of, I want to say don't pursue, I want to say don't pursue sports, but make sure that you understand the business of sports too. So if you want to be an athlete, cool. If you want to be an athlete, it's all about sacrifice. You ain't can't, whatever, whatever sport is I box, right? So I'm sore now. When I leave here, I gotta go back to training, right? I don't have no time, right? So if you want to be an athlete, you gotta sacrifice. But it ain't just being an athlete. You gotta understand endorsements. You gotta understand how to protect your brand. You gotta understand licensing. All the little things that the white guys do to make money off of you as an athlete, you need to make sure you know how to make money off yourself as well. Okay? So you wanna be, if, if, you're, if you're an athlete, you gotta start now. If you wanna, whatever, whatever sport you wanna do, get around somebody who's already doing it at the highest level and do what they did times three. So if he worked out two times a day, work out six times a day. And you'll make it in his position. But understand the business of sports too. Because there's more money in the business versus just playing the sport. And you can do both. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, camera man. Oh, why did you get stopped? Man, whew. listen, man. Uh, jail is not a is not a nice place. That's why it's important not to be emotional. You hear me? Because when you get emotional, things can happen and you, you can do something and be like, oh my god, why did I do it? Now somebody's locking you up. So I got into a fight over chicken. In jail, people will lift your yeah, it's, it's crazy, right? I got stabbed over a box of chicken. Somebody wanted to take my box of chicken? I said, you can't have my chicken. I'm gonna take your box, you can't have my chicken. And then he tried to stab me to take my chicken. And he stabbed me, but didn't get the chicken, and I stabbed him back. So, long story short, now we're going around. Long story short, long story short, jail ain't the place to go. And if you're not focused, and you think, if you're not focused, and you let your emotions get the best of you, you can end up in jail. Never let your emotions get the best of you. Always have self-control. Always think and walk away before you say or do anything. And I promise you that feeling, that anger that you feel, it'll pass if you if you give it the space to pass. Feel me? I'll get it. How many times have you been Man, uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot, right? And again, no wet floor signs, right? Like, now that I'm in business, I realized when I was young, I just wanted to make money. And I didn't have, and I was trying to, I was trying to emulate the guys that I saw in the hood. I didn't have a father figure. So indirectly, I was looking for a father figure. So I'm looking at the guys on my block, they hustling, they getting money, they driving cars. Okay, what you doing, man? I'm doing work, and I just try to, I try to be what I saw in my hood. That's why it's important for us to have role models when we do speak to them, and we tell them the right, the real stuff, real, yeah. because they're gonna emulate it, whether they know it or not, right? So I was in and out my whole life. And so I got to a point where I had I did enough time to realize like I can't go to jail anymore. I, I want to do something legal. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I don't even want to jaywalk. I don't want to sell drugs. I don't care about the homies. I'm not listening to no drill music. I don't care about none of that. Because when you sit in the cell and you by yourself and you crying and you missing your family, ain't nobody gonna be there. So it's not the place to go. And the only way to avoid a place like that is to use your mind and think and never let your emotions get the best of you. Never. Feel me? Right, real quick, real quick, real quick. We're um, scooping over a little bit. Um, before we go, do you have a question? Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Yeah. question? All right, last three, then we gotta wrap it up. Uh, you said that you got stuck in the Let's speak more. Let's check it. What's your question? You said that you got stuck in the I'm gonna get it right home. What's your question? Thank you. Real quick. Uh, what age did you start in the last three? Um, wow. I would say 25. 25. But it could have been at your age if I had the information. So if you get the information early, you can avoid going through any type of trouble. You feel me? So it's very important to figure out what you want to do now so you don't have to go through nothing bad in life. 
You, your life can be perfect, beautiful, like a movie. You know what I mean? Just question. You can't, everything's about adding value, right? So when you hear those things on the internet, yo, you make $10,000 a month, it's BS, it's lies, okay? If you wanna make money, you gotta add value. You gotta find something. You see how you got Gatorade and Doritos, right? They added value, right? People like junk food, they wanna eat, right? So you gotta figure out how you add value to somebody, right? And then what type of value do you wanna add? And then you need to get the cheapest way to give them that value, and then you'll make the money you wanna make, okay? But adding value is important, yeah. Oh, you said that you made something you had before. Yeah, yeah, chicken box. Listen, um, you, I'm going I'm to tell you, you ain't got to ask me a question, I'm going to tell you something, you got, you got a lot of information. Information and application is two different things. So you got to be smart, right? Take some of what you know and start using it for something. Not just having the information, okay? Yeah, I'm going to something. Perfect. You're going to what? I'm going to high school to study computer science. My man, 50 grand. You got to start coming too, yeah. Just question. Yeah, ask Give me any question. Everybody in here has a question, whether you know it or not. But get ahead. We're gonna pull it out you. Get ahead. Is it hard to like to like um like to like Is it hard to what? Like when you mean like to like control everything that's happening. Yeah, I mean, listen, the only the only hard thing is getting the information, right? Remember what I said earlier, how you think creates how you feel, how you feel becomes an emotion, that emotion becomes a vibration, that vibration becomes a magnet that attracts things to you. So when I made my first million, it was complete focus. I didn't kick off nothing else but making the money and making the money the right way. And when you get one negative thought, replace it with a hundred positive thoughts. I didn't care about no girls. I didn't care about Instagram. I wasn't trying to be on TikTok. I didn't care about no Twitter. I was only focused on making my money. And when you stay focused like that, when you stay focused, it's like an energy and then things come to you. You feel me? Question. When did you like stop? When did you like stop focusing on what's going on? Um, you gotta figure out, say that to him, how to add value. Once you feel everything is about value, don't worry about, because what works for somebody else may not work for you. So you gotta figure out how to add value, what va how you wanna help somebody, and what are you passionate about. So what do you wanna do, and then how does what you wanna do help somebody else, and then you start a business around that. Question. How did you start Man, dude, falling, making mistakes. You gotta fail faster. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. When you wanna do something, just do it. Don't even, don't worry about, because you, you're young enough to, to mess up. Because when you mess up, you learn, and then you get better. So you gotta not be afraid to fail, take action, and when you fail, you learn from it, and then do it again, and do it again, and do it again, and then it starts to get better for you, right? So fail faster, but you learn from when you fail, right? Question. Man, it was hard, I had to make sacrifice. I had to let go of everything that made me comfortable. Because all I knew was being in the being in being with my friends and being in the hood and smoking and partying and dealing with the girls. So I had to get away from everything that I knew and create new things to be comfortable with. Right? So I would read books about people who made money, and then I would be like, okay, oh this guy, he's a millionaire. Well, he lives over here. I would go to that place. I would go to libraries in rich neighborhoods. I would like Google, yo, what's a nice neighborhood? And I just walk there. And I try to soak up that energy. I go to Barnes and Nobles and I sit in the bookstore and just try to read anything on success and motivation, right? So it, it, so it was a process. I had to let go of everything that I was taught because what I was taught didn't benefit me. And I had to learn new things and be passionate about that. You heard? And be passionate about that. I had to learn new things and give this passion and then I became successful. But it was a long, hard process because nobody taught me I had to learn on my own. But I wanted to learn, and I didn't mind failing. I was hungry, I was hungry. I wanted to learn. I wanted my life to be better. I couldn't accept it. I didn't have no mommy, I didn't have no daddy, I didn't have no family, I had nothing. But I said, I'm gonna be better. So I kept thinking that, I'm gonna be better, 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 I'm gonna be better. And I just worked every single day like that. Some days I didn't eat. Some days I didn't have the best clothes. I didn't care. I worked every single day. It took me about 10 years. You understand? Know Question. Out to the real world? So when I got a job, I got a gym membership and I got a library card. So I had to study. So I kept, I, I said, okay, I want to make money. So I had to, I went to the library and I typed in how to make money. Legal, how to make money. Legal. I started asking questions, right? I started reading books on people who made money. 
And everything that they did, I was trying to do. But I failed, I made a lot of mistakes, right? I, I thought I was gonna be in real estate, I thought I was gonna be selling stock, I, I, was, I was just trying to do everything and then I found what I wanted to do, okay? So listen, don't, so I sell products, right? But how somebody makes their money, it may not work for you because making money is not about what you're doing, it's about how you feel about what you're doing, how you think about what you're doing. He could take that plate and make a hundred million dollars if he believed in it. So I had to believe in what I was doing. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I sell I, I sell soaps, I do drop shipping, I sell merchandise, I do public speaking, I box, I do music, I write songs for people, right? But it, it wasn't what I was doing that was making money. It was that in my made up my mind that I wanted to make money. So if everybody in this room make up your mind that you want to do better, that you want to be better, that you're going to do better in school, you're going to do better in life, then things are going to come to you to help you do that. And you just got to have the courage to embrace it. So what I did was I got a gym membership, I got a library card, and I said I'm gonna figure out how to make some money, legally. And I worked at it every single day, okay? Did you run away? Take it? Did you run away? Yeah, I ran away. I regretted it, man. I had to run away though. Did I run away? Yeah, first time I ran away was five years old. My mother used to lock me in the closet and go out and get high. We had no babysitter, so my mom used to open up the closet, beat me, throw me in the closet, lock me in the closet, and leave. I got tired of that stuff, man. I started, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm hungry, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get out, you know what I mean? I get out, and I'm, I'm leaving, boom, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, right? So, sometimes, see, running away comes in different forms, though. You heard? Sometimes you gotta run away from things that don't benefit you. Sometimes you gotta run away from people that don't love you. And make sure when you're running, you love yourself. See, always love yourself. And if somebody in your family that love you, make sure you be around them. You hear me? If somebody in your family, who in your family loves you? My moms. Your moms. So you gotta make sure every day. When you see your moms today, hug her hard. I wish my mother loved me. You hear me? Mother never loved me, man. She never loved me. A mother's love is so important. So important. You hear me? So you gotta value that. Okay? Spend more time with your mom. Even though it's corny, sometimes you know you be like, Mom, I love you. Come here, Ma. Just hug your moms. Create memories. Make more pictures. Ask your moms more questions about life. Hey, Mom, I met this guy today. He said I could make money, and if I think my mind, whatever, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta build that relationship with your moms and love the people who love you. That's the most important thing. Hold on, man. Yeah, question. Um, I figured. After jail, did you finish your study? Or did you finish? Did I what? Finish your study. After, after jail? Yeah. Yeah, I got focused, man. When I got out of jail, everything was studied. I was reading five books a day. I had, to, I had to make up for lost time. So I had to educate myself. So it's important to be hungry for knowledge, too, right? I had to educate myself. That was important. You know what I mean? So when I got out, I did a lot of reading, a lot of studying. And I found out the real way to make money. And the real way to make money is adding value. When you add value, you make money. Okay? Come in. Me? No. Um, what was your like, main thing that you wanted to listen to? To the kid? Man, um, I just wanted to be happy. Are you happy now? Yes. And it ain't about money. I made a lot of money. I got a lot of money. But it, happiness is not about money. Happiness is like a feeling. Right? So I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be happy with myself. When I looked in the mirror, I wanted to say, like, hey, man, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm. That's why I wanted to call it. I, I am, too, by the way. But, yeah, so I just wanted to be happy. That was important to me, being happy. So that was my dream, just being happy and having a family that loved me. Okay? You can explore now. This is the years to explore. So do everything. Do 100 things. And then whatever sticks, that's what you stick with. For me? Alright. My man. Um, one last question. Sure. Um, you said that you had to um, push away things that um make you like comfortable and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever push away from any at all? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why I said family. Listen, blood don't make you family. Love does. Right? So you got the people that love you is who you gotta give your love to. And the only way to find the people who love you is to love yourself. So when you love yourself, you're only gonna be around people who love you. So every day when you look in the mirror, you gotta say, I am 
beautiful. I am handsome. I am blessed. I am smart. I am strong. I am powerful. This is what you say to yourself every single day. You're going to start feeling better about yourself. Make sure you give yourself love. And don't settle for nothing less than what you give yourself. And you got to give yourself everything. You see? Everything. All right. And you guys remember we call that a positive what? Smart. After... Affirmation. You know I mean? It's important. You know I mean? Even if you don't really 100% believe it at that moment, you will. You will. Because you got you to sit there, right? And you got to say, look, it takes your body three minutes or more to produce a chemical based upon what you're thinking. So if you look in the mirror and you say, oh, I feel good, it's not long enough. You got to be in that mirror for about three to five minutes. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. And then eventually you're gonna to start to feel good. And now you're teaching yourself how to look at yourself in the best way. Okay? All right, clap it up for him, clap it up for him, clap it up for him.